I, I always pray that me and my opponent come out and go home to our family safe. But when I'm walking, my feet touches that canvas, I'm willing to die in there, yeah. I'm How willing do to do whatever it takes to be victorious. I, I wouldn't sit up here and say I'm not scared to death of making that walk, but I make it every time, you know. And, and when I get in there, I'm, I'm willing to, whatever's going to happen, I'm willing to go through Watching these guys fight, the grit and determination that they showed, I just for some reason knew I had that. Didn't know if I could fight with the best guys in the world, but I knew I was willing to suffer more than the next guy. I knew that whatever they had, I had. Over these past years of fighting, I realized that it's okay to be nervous and scared. I'm supposed to be because my body is preparing itself to do something great. Greatness should make you nervous and make you scared and make you emotional. So I just try to embrace it. What is your way of keeping yourself calm? I, I write down the date of the fight on a piece of paper. I draw a circle around the date of the fight and inside that circle I write everything I have control of. Outside that circle is opinions, critics, the media, my opponent. I write everything I can't control. Fighting is so mental. It's, it's not only your skill set in fighting. Everybody punches hard. Everybody's fast at this level. We're all great athletes. Everybody works their ass off. There's a, there's a prime moment where the athletics here and the minds here and, and you start to age and, and it comes down and, and when they even out, that, that's when you're in your prime and everybody's different, but now is my time right now. But at the same time, I'm honest with myself and I understand this combat sports and, and I can lose to anyone as well. But my skill set, I, I believe 100% in my skill set and work ethic, I can beat anyone. Yeah.